Hey guys, what's up, what's going? Welcome back once again to another video on the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing our weekly update. Sorry I haven't done a video recently, guys. I've been really busy, been uh, pretty busy enjoying the nice summer weather. Hope you guys are having nice weather where you are as well. Um, the market's been dipped quite a bit and we've seen it continue to dip over the last little while. So I know you, a lot of you guys are waiting for these updates. But anyways, I'm gonna be focusing on three stocks inside today's video. We're gonna be focusing on two Canadian stocks and one stock that is an ETF. I'm gonna be buying those inside my portfolio. So like usual, I'll give you guys a portfolio update to start things off and then we'll go inside the dividends i'll show you guys all the recent dividend payments and i'll show you guys how we're taking those dividend payments and putting them back inside the portfolio to buy stocks at great prices and get nice good solid yields that's going to be the focus of today's video so let's jump inside of it and let's see how portfolio on wealth so trade has been doing all right guys so the first thing we're going to be covering is going to be like usual the portfolio update um the market's been a little bit interesting and we have been dipping down quite a bit over the past little while so our portfolio total, even though we've been putting money in on a regular basis, is currently sitting at about $100,000, $950 Canadian. That's spread across two main accounts here on Wolf Simple Trade, the TFSA and the personal account. Now, the personal account has 13 stocks with a balance of $15,000. All-time performance is down $600. And the TFSA has 11 positions, which is $85,000 and is currently up $2,152. Now, if we take a peek at this, we can kind of fine-tune it and look a little bit in more detail how our stock has been moving over the past little while so we look at today our return is up actually up one percent today we've seen a bit of a bounce up i think most of that's in american stocks um over the past week we are down negative one percent so you know a bit of a a dip there over the past month we we're up two percent uh the past three months we we're down negative ten percent our one year return is down negative three percent so once again we can see like in april the bit the dip happened a uh, bit of a dip, a little bit up and down, a little bit of a dip, a little bit of up, and then even further dip. And now we're kind of in that same limbo right now. So it's going to be interesting to see if we're going to dip even further or if we're going to get a bit of recovery. Uh, I, like most people, uh, it doesn't really matter because I like to buy these stocks when they're on sale. So it doesn't really matter if we dip for a long time. And the all-time return is about that 3% inside the TFSA. So once again, pretty big dip, but that just means that we can buy these stocks on sale. And if you guys haven't already, be sure to check out the Inverse group. There is a link in the description of this video. You guys can check that out. You can sign up for a free account on Inverse. This is a platform I use to research my stocks and do all kinds of different things. We also have a group that you guys can check out. It's the Dividend Investing for Beginners group. This is a group that I own. If you guys have any questions or anything you want to share and you guys want people to help you out, definitely check out the group. There's a lot of cool content, a lot of people posting really cool things. And be sure to check it out. It's great. It's for beginners. And best of all, everything is completely free for you guys to use. Once again, guys, check out the link in the description of this video and sign up for your free Inverse account today. Before I show you guys what stocks I'm going to be looking at today, I want to do a quick little update on the dividend payment because we did get lots of dividends and we're going to be using our dividends to put them back into the stocks and buy more shares. So that's the great thing about dividend investing. We always have a lot of dividends and since our portfolio has been really starting to grow over the past little while, it's starting to increase to be quite a bit. And with the stocks to be down, we can buy those stocks at some good solid yields. And I'm going to show you guys that a little bit later on in the video when we actually do buy the stocks. But the dividends we did actually get is we got a dividend from HYLD. I'm actually going to scroll down here to the beginning of July and do it this way. So we'll go to July 1st, so TELUS gave us a dividend $10, um, $10 in our personal account and $11 in our TFSA. Canadian National Resources, CNQ gave us a dividend of um, $2. VFE gave us a dividend of $10 in our personal account and then $149, so that's our big ETFs paying out our big dividends. We got a dividend from VDY for $20 in our personal account and then $100 in our TFSA and then HYLD and HDIV, these um, ETFs I'm starting to kind of invest into more, a small percentage of my portfolio, are starting to bring out these big dividends. So we can see here that HDIV, we got a dividend of 13 cents. We just kind of started that one. HYLD in our personal account, $11, and then in our TFSA, $23. And if you go and add them up in the total, that's a total monthly dividend payments for July of $307 from my portfolio, and then $34 from my girlfriend's portfolio. And we add those up together, and we have $343. So that's quite a bit of money. That's not our biggest month quarter quite yet. Uh, it's pretty close. I think we do have TD giving us a dividend towards the end of the month. So that might boot us boot, boot us up a bit. I don't think we'll get the $400 quite yet, but it'll be sort of close. So that's definitely going to help us out. And we're going to be taking that money today and we'll put it into the stocks that I'm going to show you guys I'm buying right now. All right, so the first stock I'm going to be focusing on buying today, I think I'm going to go with three stocks inside my portfolio. We'll focus on the TFSA. We have $277 inside of our TFSA. And like I mentioned before, this is dividends. And the nice thing about dividend investing is during these times where markets dip, even if you don't have any free cash flow coming in for whatever reason, you know, sometimes this can happen, you do have those dividends to reinvest back inside your portfolio. So the first one we're going to be focusing on, once again, is the covered call ETFs. 
Um, this is going to be HYLD here. So currently inside of our TFSA, we have 171 shares. It's about $2,000. Represents about 2.67% of my portfolio. It's currently down 12%, but once again, it did take a big dip uh, since it kind of basically started off and then the market dropped off. Now, once again, we're not focused on the stock um, appreciation of this fund. It's more of a dividend fund. And if we take a peek at dividend history, we can take a peek that right now, the dividend yield is 12.63%. So buying into this fund right now would net you a yield of 12.63% which isn't shown in the stock appreciation of the stock growth. So keep in mind, I'm buying this fund right now to increase the passive income inside my portfolio as well as to get it at that nice yield because traditionally this fund would actually be around that 10% but because it dipped down so much, we can now buy in at 12.63% and, and you know a lot of these cover calls are relatively safe I would say even if they decreased it a little bit by a couple percentages I'd be okay with that because we'd still be buying it at that low price uh, so we're gonna be buying about I think about a hundred share hundred dollars worth of shares in uh, HYLD inside my portfolio so put that through for the TFSA and that'll be the first stock I'm gonna be buying today so if there's one thing you guys learned from this video, it's the power of dividend investing and during these market dips. So a prolonged dip will give us opportunities to buy more stocks to get higher yields, like I mentioned earlier in this video. So we have $171 left, so we could buy two more stocks. I'm gonna, I also have some money my personal account will put through as well. Uh, but right now we're gonna be focusing on more of a traditional stock and that's gonna be TD. So this is the bank stocks. You know, I'm a big fan of the bank stocks. I love TD and TD like everything else has been hit pretty bad. If we go over the past year or so, we can see quite a bit of a dip here. It's actually down 7%, but it's actually probably more to that year to date. You've seen a big drop off. So once again, these bank stocks are always good value. We have 35 shares inside of our TFSA, about $2,000. And once again, if you go to dividend history, we can see that the current yield is 4.46%. So it's almost a 5% yield with a solid bank company that honestly, I personally think TD is basically like a growth company too. They have a bit of both. Like they're one of those weird stocks that they grow a lot in stock appreciation. Um, they have really good yields. They have really good earnings and their payout ratio is relatively low. So this is a good quality stock. I always buy TD whenever I can. So we're gonna be putting about $100 once again inside TD. TD. I'm just gonna go actually inside the TFSA and we'll put $157, put that through and that'll be uh, what we're gonna buy for TD today. And if we head on over to our personal account, the last stock we're going to be buying is going to be one of my other favorites that I've recently been buying. It's a bit of a newer stock, and I know I'm focusing a lot on financial stocks inside this uh, today's video, but don't worry guys, I do have a well-diversified portfolio in Canadian and U.S. stocks. But POW Power Corp of Canada is going to be our third stock we're going to be buying today. This is a stock that's been hit quite a bit, but I still think, once again, it's got a good value company. They own a lot of good quality companies inside of them, and it's got a lot of a good history. And if we go over the past year, we can see that this stock actually is down 15%. It actually took a big dip. And if we take out the dividend yield right now, we have a dividend yield of about 6%, almost 6% from POW. So once again, a good time to buy this company. A lot of the good quality dividend companies right now, like I said, they dip down during these market dips. You get those nice little yields. And it's really important that you focus on companies that that don't cut their dividends because you want the you want those dividends to stay up there so over time you buy them cheap now you're going to keep getting that value over time so I'm going to be buying about, I guess, three shares, I guess two shares or so inside my personal account of POW, and that's going to be the third stock and the final stock I'm going to be buying in today's video. If you guys want to learn more about why I pick these stocks and kind of how I go through the process, be sure to look for a link in the description of the video. There's a free video course you guys can check out showing you guys how I built my portfolio from zero dollars to 100k with Wealth Simple Trade. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. So like usual, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any comments or anything like that, please be sure to let me know in the description. I'll try to get back to you guys as quickly as possible. If you guys did enjoy the video, please sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys want to be up, be notified or updated of when I do these new videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel. All right, guys, take care. Hope you guys have yourself a good day, and I'll see you guys later.